the crisis. Not only does it mean a loss of public money, in the Netherlands I think the cutbacks range up to 20-30% of all the government spending on culture is gone. But what may even be more important is the distrust of elites that followed. And I still believe that especially in this time, leadership is the crucial thing to get us through this. So what I'm going to do is show you very simply um, examples of these four uh, things that I believe are the crucial elements in leadership in the cultural field. It all starts with vision. This, the second thing, well, it seems so obvious, creativity. And now is maybe the most important part. You have to have the guts to do it. Uh, most ideas end up in the bin because, of course, you can stay, you can keep talking for it for evenings, weeks, months. Check it with all your friends. Fine, <coughs> but you have to do it. You have to take the risk. And in culture, of course, a lot of times it is about risk. Not only about money. Sometimes it's also about investing and, and running the risk to lose it but also having an idea and uh, hoping people will like it. And then the fourth, you can think you can do everything by yourself, you can't. And that is something, in my opinion, in the Netherlands, um, we're very bad at, and that is building alliances in the cultural field that will be able to stay by itself. And alliances is not only finding a colleague and doing a show together. Alliances is much more than that, and it can lead to very uh, surprising results. This is the World Museum in uh, Rotterdam. It's an anthropological museum. I don't know how often you go there. In the Netherlands, not a lot of people went. Uh, what they did, they joined with Krasreise, which is a tour operator. And it's not a big package deal, but they do have a lot of tours to Asia and uh, Latin America. Um, everybody who bought a, or, or booked a, uh, a travel or journey with Kasreize got a free ticket to the World Museum. The World Museum organized lectures on this country in the evening and Kasreize could actually sell and use the museum for meetings and promotions. Other um, example, the Museum Katerijnen Convent, which you could say is a religious museum, Christian history. They did uh, a big exhibition on uh, the Camino, the Camino Real to Santiago. Uh, small museum, not a lot of staff. They got into contact with the association of people who, Dutch people who actually walked the Camino, which is huge. And they said, we will, we will help you because we know a lot about it. Um, we will go and be the tour guides in your exhibition. We will be in the exhibition for the whole three months, we can actually tell visitors about our own experience. So everybody loved it. Uh, and the added bonus was that, of course, all the families and friends of all these people also came because they finally wanted to see what their friend or their brother or their mother had walked for all these months. 